Hello Miss. For this assignment, we choose the Ujung Kulon National Park. We choose this place because we are amazed by the ecosystem and the wildlife included in this place. For example, Ujung Kulon is very huge. The size of this park is 433 meters square. And, it, and it's built around three ecosystems like the terrestrial ecosystem, marine ecosystem, and coastal ecosystem. Which is in this three ecosystem, they are consist around several hundred species of flora and fauna. Ujung Kulon National Park is placed at the westernmost tip of Java, in Banten, in Banten province of Indonesia. It includes the volcanic island group of Krakatoa in Lampung province and other islands including Panaitan as well as smaller offshore islets such as Andalum and Puchang in the Sunda Strait. The Ujung Kulon was established in 1846 by a botanist from Germany for the purpose of collecting tropical plants. And over time, it inviting other scientists from a lot of country, with the result that Ujung Kulon National Park was given the title of Natural World Heritage site by the UNESCO in February 1992. The entrance fee for Ujung Kulon National Park is different between domestic tourists and international tourists. For domestic tourists in weekday, is around 5,000 rupiah per night and per person. And in weekend, it's 7,500 rupiah per night and per person. But for tourists from another country, for weekday, is around 150,000 rupiah per night and per person. And per person. And in weekend, it's around 225. thousand rupiah per night and per person from jakarta we recommend to use car as the mean of transport because it only can be accessed through land and along the way you can visit and sightseeing in other country through banten from jakarta you can pass tangerang pass cilegon and you end up in this place called mahendra and citulapak my name is joseph matthew halim i will explain what things attract to visitors to Ujung Kulon National Park. This park is located in Sumur and Cimanggu District, Pandeglang Regency, West Java. Here are some things that attract tourists visiting Ujung Kulon National Park. First, extensive and well-preserved forest ecosystem. The first thing that makes Ujung Kulon National Park attracts tourists to visit is the existence of the forest. The forest ecosystem there is the most extensive in Java. Various forest ecosystem can be found and visited. There are at least four forests in Ujung Kulon National Park, namely coastal forest, mangrove forest, freshwater forest, and rainforest. Second, there is one horned rhino. Ujung Kulon National Park is famous for the location of the living one horned rhinoceros. One horned rhinoceros is a protected animal that is almost extinct. This animal number less than 60 and scattered in Ujung Kulon National Park. With such, a, with such a small number, it will certainly attract tourists, both domestic and national tourists, to visit. Third, there are various endangered species in Ujung Kulon National Park. There are quite a lot of animals in Ujung Kulon National Park and this is what makes tourists interested in visiting. Some of the animals that live in this park are protected endangered species. If you visit here, tourists can see various endangered species such as Javan rhinos, bulls, langurs, leopard, stone cats, gibbons, and elephants. Hello, miss. My name is Dionysius Hugo, and I will explain about Ujung Kulon National Park facilities. Ujung Kulon National Park has a lot of facilities like lodging, resort, dock, and information center at Pyeongchang Island. In Ujung Kulon National Park, there are three ways to stay overnight. You can book a resort in Niki at Pyeongchang Island that has 22 rooms and an air conditioner with a maximum capacity of two people and three meals throughout the day. The price of Nikki Resort is starting from Rp 450,000 to Rp 750,000. Rupiah. 
if you want to save more money, you can choose a cheaper option at Hondolum Island that started from Rp150,000. This resort has 8 rooms and equipped with an air conditioner. And if you want to stay for even more cheaper price, the Ujungro National Park's management allow tourists to make a camp. If you want to stay at the Hondolum or Piuchang Island, or you want to go camping, then you need to make an order at least two weeks in advance and pay a minimum down payment of 50% one week in advance. To find out more detailed information about accommodation facilities and room rates in Ujungulon National Park, you can contact the call center Ujungulon National Park by email at info at ujungulon.org. Thank you, Miss, for watching our video. See you next time. Bye-bye.